Here are 14 upcoming Spider-Verse projects. Now there's a writer strike going on in Hollywood, so expect some delays. First, we have Craven the Hunter that hits theaters on October 6, 2023. Now it stars Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's played Quicksilver, Kid Cast, etc. You may know him. But um, this film has had a, there's a, like a event called CinemaCon in America. And there was a, not a test screening, but like a mini teaser trailer. And people said there's Rhino in it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me just read the description. Craven the Hunter will be the next live action outing from the Spider-Man mythos. I don't, I don't know what that means. With Aaron Taylor Johnson making his debut as a legendary villain. The flick will introduce more Spider-Man antagonists, including Rhino and many more. Russell Crowe, but he was Zeus. Okay. Next up, I'm pretty excited for this one. On February 16th, 2024, we're getting a Man and Web movie. So it's basically Spider-Woman, but she's not obviously called Spider-Woman. Um, it's apparently going to be set, like, really, like, in the Venom, like, the 90s. Uh, apparently, Andrew's universe, apparently. I don't, I'm not sure the details. But apparently it's going to show all the Uncle Ben's, all the Aunt May's, different Spider-Man's like Scarlet Spider, Jessica Drew, them ones. Um, not much information in this movie. We've got like, what, eight months until this movie. I know, I'm not really going to figure out the math, but we've got like eight eight months until this movie comes out. So like, they need to release some news or some trailers. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this one. Next up, we've got Venom 3. Now, the first Venom film I really enjoyed. I haven't seen the second one yet, Let It Be Carnage, but I just haven't got around to that one. But a lot of poor reviews. I mean, it's rated higher than the first one. Carnage looks amazing. But uh, apparently they're going to bring Toxin, who's another symbiote version of Venom. Uh, and there's like two theories. So apparently they're going to add Tom Holland into this one. I'm not sure if that would work because obviously the whole thing going on with Sony, Marvel and Disney. This movie should come out 2024. Tom Hardy, who plays Venom, said that he's filming. He said he like posted the deleted scene from Venom and he, they're going to use it in the third movie. And apparently filming is going to start from, I think, July until September. But there's a writer's strike, so I don't know when that's going to start, like, the whole script. But I actually can't wait for this. It's going to definitely hit an October release date because the first movie came out October 3rd, 2018. And the second was October 15th, 2021. So, yeah. And there's a span of three years, so obviously it should come out 2024. So, yeah, I'm excited for Venom 3. Next up, we have Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse hitting theaters in March 29th, 2024. Cannot wait for this film. This, of course, Spider-Verse was perfect. It's my favorite movie of all time my favourite Marvel movie, it just gets better. And I, I, I don't know if Beyond Spider-Verse could top that because that's what I was thinking across Spider-Verse and exceeded my expectations. So hopefully Beyond Spider-Verse can do that. Um, let me just read the description. So with the first chapter of the Spider-Verse sequel having entered this, fans will be waiting long to see the animated Miles Morales back in action. Beyond the Spider-Verse is set to release early next year, continuing right where Spider-Verse 2 left off as Spider-People face off the spot. Oh, that cliffhanger was so good. But definitely, if you haven't watched Spider-Man uh, Across Spider-Verse, what are you waiting for? Go go get a ticket. And on the topic of uh, Beyond the Spider-Verse, uh, Amy Pascal, who's the director of these Sony movies, um, she said that Spider-Gwen or Spider-Woman is getting her own film. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, so it's not Jessica Drew or it's just uh, Gwen Stacy as Spider-Man. So it's going to be coming out after Beyond the Spider-Verse. I don't know how that works. I think they should move the release date. As much as I want it to come out soon then, because it's not even a year, it's like 10 months. Um, I feel like we should have a movie in between to see like Gwen's world and that. But yeah, just to let you know. I'm definitely not looking forward to this one, man. At least anticipate it, because this is the rest of that Toby fights in his first movie in 2002. Uh, Bad Bunny, who's a rapper, uh, Latino, he said he's really excited for this. Let me just read it. Another from Sony's ever-expanding Spider-Man spin-off universe, Latin artist, as I just said, Bad Bunny, was announced in April 2022 to lead El Muerto, starring a superpowered wrestler who only has appeared in two comic issues ever. <laughs> that is just... Why would you make the superhero? The artist, the artist has promised the movie will be... Let's say... Epic, expressing his excitement for the character. This is going to flop. No, not more than Morbius. Morbius... Oh, no, no. That, that, nothing can get worse than that. But, nah, I don't see this being good. Now, this one is the most confusing one. Hit No Hustler. So, I've done some research into this character. It's like a disco Spider-Punk, but... Yeah, he's like Spider-Punk. Uh, Donald Glover, who was in Spider-Man Homecoming, was playing Aaron Davis. Uh, I don't really get how this universe ties in, because uh, I saw all across Spider-Verse with friends, and we saw him in live action in the parallel. I was losing my head, but... That's two, that's in two, the same universe. I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to be different variants. So it's, I've got no words. Like, I don't know when it's going to come out. It's probably 2025. Um, I'm just don't know how it's going to tie into this, this MCU, SSU. I don't, I don't really get it.
Sorry to so just go back yet. Yeah, um, we're getting two new projects. We're getting a Spider Man Noir project. Um, Riot Strike. Uh, I can't remember their names, but the producers are oh, they're so good. Um, the producers of Lego Batman movie, Lego movie. Um, well, they've done the Spider Verse movies. They're doing a Silk Spider Society. So basically, another Spider Woman female character. Um, Spider. Silk Spider Society on Amazon Prime. I, th I don't know if it's going to be free, um, but it should sell to come out next year, hopefully. And they're doing a Spider-Man Noir show, who was in the first Spider-Verse movie. You know, the guy with the hat, and he's in all black, played by Nicolas Cage, and I can't wait for that. So I'm intrigued how it ties into all this universe. Oh, and it's live action as well. I don't think it's animated, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and also they're doing a... Uh, like a continuation of the Spectacular series, kind of, in a way. So Spider-Man freshman year, so in his first year back college, and then Spider-Man sophomore year. Uh, so that, that's only bit. There's no season three and four, like junior or senior. So it's just those two have been confirmed. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be set in the MCU or Sony Universe, but now with the whole right strike, I, I don't know if it's going to start production this year, next year, 2025. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm excited to see... How about that fits into the whole thing as well? I'm really excited for this one. So we've got a Spider Woman project. Um, it's been in product. Uh, it's been <laughs> it's been in development since like 2013. So we're gonna like get a live action Spider Woman. So it's, I think it's based on Jessica Drew. It says reports of a Spider Woman movie have been ongoing for years, with Olivia Wilde having having reportedly signed to direct a movie featuring Jessica Drew in 2022. Don't worry, darling. I Love and connections. So she doesn't. I don't. I don't think she wants it to connect to the universe. But it's been ten years since this project has been in development. So I don't really see anything moving forward. This is my favorite one: live action Miles Morales project. But we need to get this. It's happening. I hope she make more plays in because I think he'd make a good um, Miles Morales as a live action. But it says as across the Spider Verse makes its way into theaters, Sony revealed big plans for more adventures with Miles Morales. This time, as the character makes a live action debut. Although that came with the heavy fans will likely have to wait a couple of years. Uh, but I would wait. I cannot wait. I just, I've got no words. Live, Miles Morales. Now I've got mixed emotions on this one down below. Uh, Spider-Man 4, which uh, has a release date um, of August 2025. Uh, I thought it would have been next year, but Riot Strikes has been annoying. That's why Transformers reverted to fall and failed. So it's kind of good how some projects are on hold because they don't want to do that mistake with X-Men and Richard Wolfrey that happened as well but uh, with Spider-Man 4 uh, I'm really annoyed because with the cons of my like thoughts this uh, they're going to bring back Zendaya and I don't want that I just want him to meet some new friends like Harry or <laughs> MJ I don't know like it's, it's just why bring back Zendaya what a good way to end their way home like he just lets the, his friends go he doesn't want to put them in danger they bring their back. It's just like, oh, like just listen to the fans. We know, we know what's best for these characters, but yeah, I just that's what it is. But I cannot wait to see that suit. That suit looks ledge. Or oh, look at that. That the, the blue and the I like the emblems kind of. It kind of gives me Tobey Maguire, but if you put Andrew Garfield mixed together, but except from the weapon, because obviously there's no like white weapon. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this film. Um, I think it will be. In phase six, I doubt it'll be phase five because obviously this whole phase thing is just a mess right now. But I'll do that on the whole phase in another video. But yeah, don't forget to like this video and share. Also comment as well down below what your favorite Spider-Verse movie is. And like and follow for more.